Today we look at Proverbs 4 verse 18 and we are looking at the we are continuing with the ben, with the benefits the blessings that come with people who are men and women of faith this is actually the inheritance of the righteous the inheritance of the righteous Proverbs 4:18 but the path of the just is like the shining sun that shines ever brighter unto the perfect day. Now, what does this mean? It is in the manifold wisdom of God and divine agenda of God to have the lives of people who walk in righteousness have their paths and their ways enlightened. These are people you know, the way like uh, the Lord speaks in Jeremiah 33, verse 3, call unto me and I'll answer and I will show you great and unsearchable things. This means God will always reveal things, bring to light things that were hidden. He will bring them to the, to, into the eyes of the righteous. And we're not talking about that God is exposing sin or exposing evil. That's not what I'm talking about. But God is enlightening you to understand, enlightening you to understand exactly what he wants you to do with your life. When God appears to you, and he, like for example, when he spoke, he, he spoke to me about ministering to young people, that is his enlightenment. He, he enlightened me to see what I need to do to reach out to the young people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And when, when God gives you a commission, he makes sure that he enlightens you. He makes sure that you understand things. In fact, you come to the point of knowing things that other people have never known. There is a knowing in you that is only described as divine. There is a way you know things. You are enlightened to understand things that even perplex the most learned people. Because it is given you as a gift because of your righteousness before him. And it shines ever brighter unto a perfect day. So the Lord will make sure that whatever he has spoken to you, he gives you the enlightenment. The, have you ever heard people say, I know God has told me to do this, but I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Now, listen. There is nothing like I don't know what to do. If the Lord has called you to do something, I want you to know and I, I want you to approach life like this. If God has told me to do something, then he is going to enlighten me to do it. You don't walk around and try to think, to say, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. If you say, I don't know what I'm going to do, it means you are the one who initiated it. But if it is the Lord who initiated it, it is upon the Lord to give you the enlightenment. It is upon him to shine your path, to shine your way, so that you may understand. The Bible tells us in uh, um, Psalm 119 and verse 105, what does the, Lord, the Bible say? The, Thy word, O Lord, is a lamb unto my feet, is a light unto my path. So the word of God, God will give you his word that will enlighten you and brighten your path. Excuse me, I want to ask you I want to ask you to do one thing. Give up this thing of saying, I don't know. I don't know. To me, hiding behind this statement always just trying to I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do is is trying to create an excuse to run away from responsibility. And your responsibility is very simple. Your responsibility is just to go to God. He says, call unto me and I'll answer and I will show you great and unsearchable things. And I'll reveal to you things that you did not even know. That's what he says. Another thing, the Holy Spirit, the Bible says that when you receive the Holy Spirit, he will reveal all things to you. So why would a Christian be walking around trying to say, I don't know what to do? The day you utter that statement, it is, it is the day you are saying you have moved away from faith and you, have, you are applying your own logic. It is important for us to submit to the will of God 
and listen to what the Spirit of God is telling us. When God gives us an assignment, he has put everything in place for it to be fulfilled. That's why the scripture says, he declares the end before the beginning. The Lord already knows the end of, of, of everything that he has asked you to do. So my duty is not to worry about where resources will come from. My duty is to be found where he wants me to be and to be doing what he wants me to do. That is my duty. I have got to submit to the duty of the Lord. I have got to say, Lord, I'm willing to do what you want me to do. And he will always enlighten my path. What a beautiful message. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you. I just pray for my brothers and sisters, those who have been wondering, who have been saying, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what action to take. I don't know which way to go. And Lord, from today, they will stop that and trust in you because God, you give vision to people. And in fact, you have said in your word that where there is no vision, people perish. And your desire is for your people to have the understanding, the revelation. And that's why you have given us your Holy Spirit who reveals to us everything. So we submit to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I submit my brothers and I submit my sisters, wherever they are, in your hands. May you reveal yourself to them and show them the will of God over, your li or over their lives. Oh, we thank, you, we thank you, Holy Spirit of God, Spirit of truth and revelation. Spirit of life. Spirit of truth, you are our remembrance. Speak to the people. Reveal, reveal to them your will. Reveal to them. Reveal to them the next step of action. That from today, your people will no longer say, I don't know. But that they will say, the Lord is speaking to me. And that is going to bring glory and honor to the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. To continue enjoying this spiritual nourishment, click on subscribe button below. Click on the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another video. Thank you and see you in our next broadcast.